up friends? I wanted to give you a little deeper dive of a look into my bathroom. Um, it's finally all come together. I literally just installed the shower bars and toilet paper holder and rope hook. Um, so like as of this minute and this moment, the bathroom is totally finished. I do need to get some towels, hand towels. Um, but I'm gonna walk you through some of the details of this bathroom. It's one of my favorite rooms of the house. Okay, so here we have this gorgeous hexagon charcoal tile. It's, they're really big tile and I love that about them. Um, this is from Arctessa, um, based in the DC area, but they were awesome to work with. And this grout is a light gray. I can't totally remember the name of it. Um, this vanity we got at Wayfair actually. And um, I, Love it, I love how the sink is so easy to clean because it's all one piece. Um, this is a Delta faucet. And I like how you can see the water coming out. I feel like I'm in a spa. Let's see, this mirror is a Roburn mirror. And it's a medicine cabinet, it's great. Opens up. Oh, you can see all the dirty fingerprints on it. <laughs> Um, but you can adjust the light by just holding on or turning it down like that. Um, I was told in the store that this mirror will make me look amazing. So that was a selling point for sure. <laughs> um, all right, so here we have, I just installed this robe hook. So listen, I totally looked up online um, I think it was like a website from Bob Villa that tells you exactly the height of all of these accessories. So your robe hook's supposed to be 70 inches off of the ground. The bar is supposed to be 42, I think, inches off of the ground. So I just followed all of the standard stuff because somebody else did all this research. I don't need to test it. So I'm all about following the directions. Here we have this light, which Dave totally bought at Home Depot on a whim. It actually has a speaker in it and a fan, and it has night light, two different types of night lights. Look how cool. It's like a club in here. Um, and these tiles are from Complete Tile. Um, in Manhattan and Chelsea, I went into the place and picked them out. I really wanted the tile, the floor of my shower to be blue because I wanted to feel like I was in the ocean. So that was my inspiration. <laughs> and these subway tiles are very cool because see how flat they are? Um, there's no like curve to them at all, which actually the guy who did our tile for us said that it was a little bit challenging because if there are any cracks in the tile, then the grout would get in there and then you would be able to see it. Um, but we did it a darker gray tile for here. Again, this is all from Delta. Huge shower head, very nice. And this door, um, it's probably the highlight. And it's from Florco, I believe that's the name. It's called The Latitude. Um, but I mean, come on, is that not a sexy door? These blinds are from Everhem and they're custom. Um, so these, this is the chestnut color and we're kind of using them all throughout the house, so it's consistent. I wanted to give you some details and some close-ups of this bathroom. If uh, you have any questions about where any of the products came from, just ask in the comments. And um, I'll show you all the before images too. Because it was, crazy and small and it, 
it felt so small and so we wanted to do all the things to make it feel bigger. So larger tile is supposed to make the room feel bigger, so we did that. We also took out, there was a wall here to make the shower smaller. Why would you ever wanna make the shower smaller? Um, so we took out that little wall and the shower is so much bigger now. So um, really quite a big difference between the before and after. Excited it's finally finished. And um, I'm gonna go through each room and kind of give you a little bit more details of each room, the befores and afters. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a video. Thanks for watching.